All right, guys, down here in the engine room, so you're not going to believe this crap. So we all have that friend that just says, I got a guy that can help you out. I made the mistake of using that guy. So let me show you what he did. So I had a, a pretty simple issue. So I have a alternator. This is the alternator on the good engine, okay? So you can see alternator right there, everything's connected. Got bolts going from the back to the front. And then we have the tensioner down here on the bottom, two belts, okay? Pretty straightforward. Let's see if I can get you a little bit better view, okay? So we'll come over to this engine. So last time when I was running the boat, I had an issue where I noticed on the gauge, I was running and uh, up in the helm, and I noticed that my battery monitor, battery uh, gauge, dropped down to about 12, 11 volts, which is kind of odd because I was running the engine. At the same time, I noticed that the temperature sensor or temperature gauge dropped down to zero. Um, so and if you saw my last video that I had just made, I actually found out that the, uh, the temperature sensor was unplugged. So here is where the temperature sensor is. And I had noticed that I had tossed a belt. So you can see the belt down there on the ground. You can see here that there's only, there's only two. There's one going to the water pump, one going to the actual engine, and then one going over to where the uh, alternator is. So you can see right away that the engine or the alternator on the, uh, the port side or starboard side, the bolt is threaded uh, backwards towards the aft of the boat. So the head is on this side. So just looking at that, you can already tell. You can see all the shavings, you see everything on there. You can already tell this backwards. So for a week, I had this guy, I called him up and said, hey, come out here and do this uh, alternator for me. So I had called this guy and he came down and said, oh, I'll, I'll go ahead and you know put it on. So I, I took the alternator off, got it in, brought it in for service. They uh, went ahead and remade it, uh, remanufactured everything, got it back to me and I was like, okay, you know, because me, I couldn't get in there and go ahead and reattach it. So I was like, all right, had a guy come help me out. So, so he comes out and puts it, uh, puts it on. And I said, hey, just look at the, the port engine goes on exactly the same way. Puts it on, no problem. Hour and a half later, easy peasy. Then about a week later, the, the alternator started to slip and it would come down, lose tension, and I would start seeing shavings on the belts. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? So same guy came back, I'm like, hey, like, I don't know what happened, but you know, got belt shavings, it's starting to rip, what's happening here? So he came back out and checked it out and we went ahead and replaced the belts because I noticed they were starting to shave. So I was like, okay, go ahead and put new belts on. So we know now it's not the belt issue. So still couldn't figure out what was going on. So fast forward last time to when we were driving and I noticed that, hey, I lose the, um, the battery power and then I lose the temperature sensor. And then yesterday when I was making the video, if you guys noticed the uh, video about the temp sensor, I noticed that the belt basically travels right here in that same spot. Let me turn this, turn the camera a little bit. So the belt travels right here, which is where the temp sensor is. So both leads were disconnected. So I went ahead and connected that back up, noticed that, looked over, and the first time I put eyes on the alternator, look over and I see the bolts or the, the bolts sticking out. And I'm like, well, duh, right away, that's not right. So obviously that's the issue. So just be wary when someone says, hey, I know a guy that can come help you out. Uh, you know, be wary about taking that little, little shortcut and using somebody. You might get burned like I did. Luckily, this was a easy project and it was a item that goes on the engine, not something that was uh, catastrophic, but it could have been. So definitely be leery about that. If uh, you guys got anything out of this video, give me a uh, thumbs up or a comment. Uh, definitely consider subscribing, really trying to build the channel and uh, get some more information out to you guys running a uh, sport fish charter boat. Let me know if there's something else you want to see too. All right, we'll see you guys on the water. Thanks.